All right. What's going on guys, Patrick here. In this video, we did a request for a Facebook group member. I don't remember exactly who it was. It's over on the uh, Window Tinting Business Facebook group, the private and the public. Uh, and the, the request was to see a full breakdown of what we're doing with the mobile van and how we're set up when we are on location, because we are 100% mobile now. Um, as you guys know that we do have relationships with other detail specialists and, and wrap specialists in, in the area. So we come here, we do an 80-20 split, and uh, they let us use the space. So I'm gonna go ahead and break down everything for you here. Uh, first off, what we have was we have, you can show the van. Uh, we have a Ford Transit Connect 2020. Uh, this is the long bed version. If you guys end up getting this, I do suggest to get the long bed version. It does a very, very good resale value. Plus, I, d I believe the short bed uh, won't fit 72 inches for like uh, commercial and residential. So that's very important. Um, we do have a partition in there. It's about 500 bucks to get the partition in there. Don't be stupid, get a partition because anything that's in your back, if you get hit from behind, you're gonna get murdered, right? We've had, we've had, uh, what was it? Uh, the blow torches, blow torch tanks come in, ladders come in and they just fucking slam against the wall and, and it would, it saves our lives. So don't be cheap, get a partition. Um, so in here in the setup here, we have a 42 inch GravTech plotter here. We did take the casters off. We were, in, we were able to go ahead and strap it down. It does move a little bit. When you're doing this stuff mobily, it's not gonna be perfect. You're gonna try to get as best as you can. Um, so we have it all set up here and we connect our power directly to whatever shop we're at. We did find out that the inverter in the van is strong enough to power the, the plotter. So we can do that. I don't think the inverter can power uh, uh, a heat gun. So. Um, we have our, our laptop set up here, and is it even on? So we have our laptop set up here, and then we pull off all the patterns through computer cut over here, and then we send it over to the plotter as well. I do test cuts before I do full cuts, and I do that every single time just to check because this thing does get jarred around a little bit. It is what it is. So it's better to do a test cut and ensure that that blade is cutting properly versus maybe cutting a full back window or cutting full sides and quarters and finding out that it didn't weed correctly, it didn't cut correctly, and it doesn't weed correctly. So we load it in from the back end over here, and then we get into the van sitting in a in a shop chair. There's just enough room for me. I'm I'm six one according to Uncle Sam. So I have just enough room to kind of set up. So it's comfortable enough. So we go ahead and uh, we plot the here. We usually just do the doors. We'll do either like the passenger side doors and then the driver side doors and then cut the back window on its own and then just go ahead and put the back window on the glass for sedans and coupes. When you're in here and we have all our tools in here, you cannot move, right? So I would suggest if you're strictly automotive doing mobile window tinting, I would suggest to get the high roof van, the big van, because at least you can stand up and even with all your gear in there, you can still move around. With this, we do commercial and residential. Um, if you're doing just straight commercial and residential, stick to this van. This van's perfect. It's just enough room and you can get into parking lots. The high roof vans, you can't get into parking uh, parking structures and you can't go through drive throughs So there are some, some pros and cons. But with the big roof van, you can stand up, you can move around, you can have a peel board designated within the, within the unit as well. So there's a number of, of pros and cons if you're kind of weighing out what kind of van you want to get. So this is all loaded up when we go on site and we have to unload everything to be able to get to this position here. So fair, fair warning. Sometimes we do double dip where we're gonna do commercial and automotive. So that becomes a pain in the butt. Um, but besides that, uh, most of the time we either try to either promote or do only automotive or only commercial residential. So got over here and coming around over this way here, just to show you some of the tools and stuff we have. We have two spray tanks over here it's designated for one on both sides of the cars. That way we don't need to take car, uh, hoses and, and basically cross them. They can just stay on this side. Um, these aren't our trash cans, but we have mobile trash cans. Um, we have breakdown like leaf bags. You can get this in the garden section. And this is great because then it just, it folds down. It compresses really, really small, really tight. Especially when you're doing mobile stuff, you have to make sure that, that you're conserving space. We do have these big trash cans in the shop and, and ready and waiting if we wanted to, but they just take up so much room. Um, if we come over, look over here, these are our mobile peel boards. We don't go with glass because we don't want the glass to break. Um, and then we have to clean that up. These are plexi board. They do get scratched up so that when you put it on there, you will see those lines. Like again, it's nothing's perfect, especially when you're doing mobile. Um, that's a coin toss. You can take glass if you want and you can deal with it when it breaks or you can just deal with the lines in the plexiglass. But they're really easy to move, really flexible, very light. Okay. 
Um, the, and you can get these from any um, harbor store or, or tool, so Home Depot or Lowe's, um, and maybe some Plexi places. They might have some spare, uh, spare stuff also, so they'll just kind of sell it to you for cheap. But all in all, it's not that expensive. We got four foot aluminum ladders, and we, had, we went ahead and affixed them with J-hooks on the very bottom here, and that's what's actually holding the peel boards to the ladder. And leaned up there, it's, 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 it's good and tight and it doesn't, it doesn't move on you. Uh, let's move over this way. Again, we have another spray tank here, trash can here, trying to keep it up, keep it cleanly. We got our clean bag of towels right in here. Um, any dirty towels, we either throw it in the van or throw it in the back. At the end, when we're cleaning up the van, especially in the, or cleaning up the car that we're working on, especially on the exterior, we try to use dirty towels and conserve, so then that way we have enough clean towels, so that when we are doing the installation portion, we have clean towels to work with. Let me think if there's anything else. We have a lot of tools here because we're doing flat glass later on, and we had to unload all that just to get everything out. Um, Zachary, is there anything else that you can think of? Uh, the van does come with Wi-Fi, um, so uh, we do have that there. It goes in and out from time to time. I got to fix it. Nothing's perfect, like I said. Um, but you can hotspot off your phone. Uh, if you're at a dealership um, and they have access to Wi-Fi, you can get access to Wi-Fi, and that's strictly for the plotter and the computer cut software system. Um, but besides that, I think that's pretty, pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, concerns, shout outs about how we do certain things, when we do certain things, like I said here, um, we like we'll print off the the back driver front driver and the quarters and then put it on one and then go ahead and put put it on one peel board and then i'll do the same thing for the passenger side put it on the other peel board and then usually because this is an suv we need the long board because we cut the back window with the quarters so we put them together and you can have a large peel board or if you separate them you can go ahead and separate them and have them designated to each side i believe those are about 40 inches square so that's really what you want if your film is 40 inches you want it a little bit bigger than that because if your film is bigger than the actual peel board, then any gust of breeze or wind or cross, cross breeze will pull your film off that peel board. So one tip for sure is that when you're gonna get the, the acrylic peel boards, make sure that you're gonna get it bigger than what you, the film that you typically work with. Um, besides that, I think that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, concerns, shout outs uh, in regards to our setup and how we do things, we work things very efficiently around here. Um, go ahead and leave comments below if you guys have any other questions, whether it's automotive, commercial, residential, security film, whatever. Just comment below and then we will try our best to make a video of it. Any questions, concerns? What do you think, Zach? Yep. Zach's doing really good. He's my cameraman today. So why don't you flip it over, say hi. hi. There you go. You don't have the mic on, so like they can't oh. probably can't hear you. He said hi. hi. There you go. All right. Thank you again, guys. We'll talk soon. We're gonna be moving around. We went like to the plot. What are we doing? Like, we're moving all over the place. The car. We're yeah, we're showing the showing all the all the area around there. What? Edit it and split up the two videos. No. Oh. No, just one video. No, oh, no, fuck that. I don't care about that because that that showing them this car doesn't fucking help them, right? Unless we're gonna show them how to tint it. Okay. All right.